Hey everyone, it's Ometer. So today I have something I'm going to, I, have been, I saw, <laughs> I'm trying to get my words together. I've been doing a lot of card projects and whatnot, but this is something, um, we were doing a Target run and I saw this and I'm like, that's super, super cute. It's a cute little banner, you know, because those are in right now, little banners with the little tassel banners and stuff like that. So absolutely love them, super cute. I I don't have any up, um, I thought this would be really cute decor for Easter, obviously, or spring. We typically only decorate, like here, Nathan and I typically only decorate for Christmas. Like that's the only like holiday really, but we're trying to do some more seasonal decorations now, like, you know, centerpieces and coffee table uh, centerpieces and stuff like that. So I've been doing little things. Now I saw this and if this was super cute, I'm like, well, where can we possibly hang it? But then I'm like, you know what? I get closer and I see it's actually, it's a garland, um, that it's actually velvet ribbon. So here it is outside um, when I pulled it out. It is all this very gorgeous, beautifully colored spring ribbon and also a little bit of gray. There's what? There's this nice mossy green, this gray, yellow, and this, this is like a canary almost. And there's like this, I can't explain it, like a grayish blue and then this nice little peachy pink. So I said, hey, I wonder, and how long is this thing? It's five feet. I'm like, I wonder if we, could, if I could just take it apart. And turns out, I can. Now, I because if you guys know, as as you crafters know, um, velvet ribbon is not cheap. It's usually some of the most expensive ribbon. It's even more expensive typically than double face satin ribbon, which is my favorite. Now I. I was like, okay, well, one of two things are going to happen because I think this was, how much was this? Okay, it was $9.99 and we use our red card. So, you know, you got like 10 cents off or something. But um, I thought either I can actually get it to to use the actual ribbon and maybe even share it because it's quite a bit of ribbon. Or if I can't, I'll just, you know, mess up the eggs and, and, and one and use it as a garland because it's, you know, it's five feet. It's it's pretty it's pretty decent it's very very cute here is what it looks like here let me see this is what it looks like separate and over here on the on the box they have it you know like tied up so you can display and stuff like that but it, it worked out it actually i'm literally struggling with this stupid box all right so it worked out now let me show you how i did it and so I could show you, so basically out of one of these tassels, it is, it is, what is it? Two, three, four, five, six pieces of ribbon. Now, one of them will have it, this glue on it, which you can use the heat tool and then, you know, press off with a, with a piece of paper. The rest of them are just folded in half and you can use the entire thing. Now this is, it was what, 17 inches. It's a little over 17 inches per strand. And you get, how many did you say? Oh my goodness, I just said it. Six of them. So 16, and they were each 17 inches. Let me see. Let, let's do, let's, let's, let's do, let's do math. So it was um, 17 inches times six strands. So you get 102 inches. And I, so it's divided by 36. Is it 36? Yeah. 36. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Okay, divided by 36, that's a yard. So you kind of want to know how much of a yardage you have. So you end up with 2.8. Let's just call it two and a half yards. So each tassel has two and a half yards of of ribbon. Now here's the reason why I, instead of 2.8, I said two and a half. Like I said, one of them has is the spot that has all the glue in there from the actual to hold the, the the to hold the actual tassel see it's right in the middle but you can still use um this right here because the adhesive is on the side of the tassel on the side of the little knot you can still use all of this let me grab a card base let me just go grab a little card base no this is smaller than a two size card i'm gonna sneeze excuse me oh my goodness so this is an a2 size card let's say if you want to run it across this way or this way you still can because that is quite a bit so hence why i only said two and a half because 
all of the other ones, you can use the entire strand. You can even use it for tags and everything like that. And I was thinking about that. You can use it to make little bows because I can, my hands are really dry right now, um, to make little bows for your projects and stuff. And this is still, I have to like turn it and stuff like that. This is still, um, this part. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden, I forgot how to type it. This is still this part right here and you can still use it. And this is where, this is where the glue is. But you could use this on tags, on the fronts of cards and everything. So it's still fully usable just because it has a little bit of glue. But you know what? Let's connect. Let me get some scratch paper. I wasn't planning on doing this, but we're, you know, why not? All right. Now you want to heat up your heat tool. Let's see if it works. You can get a scratch piece of paper. I might potentially mess this up, so bear with me, people. All right. So at this point, then let's. Okay. I'm trying to just basically heat up the glue and not damage the. Not damage the ribbon. All right. And of course, you know, this is like industrial hot glue, not like the, the kind that we have in our craft room. So it seems to be coming off mostly. But nevertheless, like I said, you can still use, you can still use that, um, that ribbon. So, and just keep swiping it off with your hand. And if you have your calluses on your fingers from the hot glue that we all do, you are good to go. So you can see a little bit, but then again, it looks like crushed velvet. So who will know, you know? So there you go. So you get about two and a half. 102 inches of ribbon per tassel and this is how I took it apart so now let's take one apart now I didn't see okay so the glue is actually here on the side of the tassel I didn't cut I was going to just cut the cord that it's on but I didn't I decided not to so you just kind of pull at it and it comes out it has this little tiny piece of it now, what it is, is there's string, it has string tied around, and then there is glue on it. I just pulled it apart like that, because it's just basically thread. So now you see most of these, and some of these have like little flecks of glue. I'm going to sneeze again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. I think it's allergies. Um, and which you will just, you know, slightly pick off and most of it will just come off easily. It's at the edge of the ribbon. Uh, you are not clear of it yet though. The last one is in here. This is the main one that will probably have glue as well. And you can also hit this with the heat tool to pull this off easily. But there it is. Here's most of these are already will just come off clean see these will this they will just come off clean and oh that's new i didn't see that on there maybe that one's from the packaging but um and you can just pull these apart and you see here the glue is on the side on one of the sides just softly pull it off and there you go another one and like i said um let me see if these are the same length Yep, they're about, they're 17 inches. They're like a little bit over 17 inches. So, but you get a clear 17 inches per strand. So that is that one. I'm going to go ahead. I'm debating of actually, because what I see is that you get, okay, so that's a pink and a gray. How many pinks and how many grays? How many pinks? I'm trying to see how many of each you get. You get three pinks, two yellows, three grays, three greens. So potentially if you wanted to actually use half of this, let's see, I would start here. You can still use half of the garland, which is two and a half feet. Like if you wanted to decorate something, you can still use that and take apart this one. And you can use this one, like I said, you can gift it, you can 
I'm just going to probably share it with some people. Hopefully they don't mind that it came from a from from a, from a garland. And you just look for the little adhesive where it was and it'll come off. Let's see. It'll just come off right there. It's basically on the side. And just, you know, don't forcibly pull it off. Just slowly pull it apart. There you go. There's a whole other piece right there. And you will see that there is one that has the grunt of the adhesive. So here we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one had seven. So, but, and this one has like the grunt of the adhesive. This is the one that I said that you can use potentially oh, for tag, you know, to put that through a tag like that, to put this across the card. So all of this is potentially still usable a hundred percent. So there you go, you guys. Hopefully that works. Hopefully uh, you guys take a look at this. If there is a coupon, I'm going to be pissed if these go on sale today. What is today? Today is Monday because we got these, we got this Saturday, I think, or Friday. I don't even know. We had to go to Target and get something like urgently. And I'm like, okay, let's just, you know, walk around real quick. And oh, we're looking for towels. So that is something that I kind of saw and I thought it was really, really cute, but it's super usable, usable. So if you get 2.8, let me see. If you get 2.8 potentially. Now this one had six strands, this one had seven. Let's go with six just in case. So if each tassel, each garland has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tassels we're going to multiply that by 14 you technically are getting i hope that's right um yeah you're getting let's just call it let's just call it even 38 you're getting 38 yards of velvet ribbon shut up you know you cannot go anywhere and for 9.99 and get 38 yards of um velvet ribbon and this is perfect like i said it's perfect for spring you can even hold on to this use it for christmas for your christmas Ooh, this will be perfect on your christmas ornaments how cute is that yeah there you go so hopefully i did that right if i did my math wrong correct me my bad but yes you get quite a bit um quite a bit of velvet ribbon and if that if i'm correct that's a steal that is a bargain you can use it for so many projects you can use it for boy stuff you can use it for easter you can use it for all of that so i'm just making a mess at this point so hope you guys like it hope that is helpful and thank you guys for stopping by i will talk to you guys soon bye everyone